if you're not getting it touring or if you're not getting it through other other means, mm -hmm. brand, this music shit is a rap. rap. Every artist have a story, whether you're the smallest artist or the biggest artist. What will define you is your preparation. The great Nipsey Hussle once said, luck is just being prepared at all times, so when the door opens, you're ready. This is my journey. You think I'm playing? YouTube, what's up, man? How y'all doing out there, man? It's Dagger, AKA Red Robe, tapping in with you one time. Got a great video for you here today. Um, we're gonna be talking about, you know, something that Joe Budden said, and then we're gonna dive into some other things that um, I saw developing in the news about uh, the music industry and the music and the streaming platforms. So, um, Let's get to it, man. <laughs> so Joe Budden has declared that it's over. You know what I'm saying? The music business is over. I think there's a focus on streaming. Uh, AI, I think there's a focus on just replacing you guys, the Human artists. Beings, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The artists. They got, uh, I think there's a focus on the world music, Latin and country and all of whatever their hot, hot genre is. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do I think? I just think rap is cast aside. The 50 years of hip hop told me that. Mm -hmm. How much of the pie there even is to distribute amongst artists, tell me that. Uh, the way albums don't drop anymore, tells me that. All of you artists getting your money from somewhere else, tells me that. Last year, no number one hip hop album for however long, tells yeah, me that. Six, the months. number ones that came, tells me that. Travis, Uzi, Uzi. Drake, there's only seven. Mm. There's seven rappers mm. that they focus on. Some, because y'all are truly talented and make, make people all the money in the world. Some, because too many people have their hand in your pocket to let you fail. Mm -hmm. mm. But everybody else, if you're not getting it touring or if you're not getting it through other, other means, mm -hmm. brand, this music shit is a rap. I truly don't disagree with him because I think he's not just saying it because he just, you know, wants to say something to to, to disrespect the artists, uh, to make artists look bad or anything. I don't think he's just saying it to say that. It's, he's saying it because he's making an observation and him himself is an artist. Um, he's, you know, kind of retired, but he's himself, you know, is a legendary rapper and he knows He's not making any money from 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 rap like that or any kind of like residual income from it like that like a whole load that could 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 save his life like he's actually making his money from doing what he's doing interviewing and running his channels and different things that he's doing so he knows for sure that rappers are not making any money from the music business right now uh the music business is definitely in trouble we see labels uh uh, literally like firing people we see staffs you know getting shrunk down to nothing we just seen a lot of changes in the music business um you know uh, steve stout steve stout did say man like the only thing that's keeping the major labels the major music business alive is people like drake like if he was to go like independent, there really wouldn't be any need for major label, record labels, you know. I mean, not for us as, as hip hop lovers and, and people who love hip hop, no. Everything is just gonna go independent and that's where it's, it's headed. I think it's a good thing. I, I, I know it's gonna be harder. This music Radio. shit is a rap. Um, I know it's gonna be way tougher because you need that, um, that let's say that major label engine to get you on a, a level where you can make millions of dollars like millions and millions of dollars like it takes way longer when you're independent and um it, it, it's just really harder when you're independent to make millions of dollars the majors really help you to, to get that millions of dollars so now that the game is changing into more of an independent thing it's going to take a longer time for artists to build and have a lot of money <laughs> or you know i'll have some money but it's a good thing but you know, besides Joe Budden saying that it's over for, for, for hip hop, I saw some major good news developing. Um, Congress is actually really considering 
and there is something brought forth to Congress to help artists to make more than uh, make a penny, at least a penny a stream. I'm from Motown, where our music has changed the world in so many incredible ways forever. But artists in my district and across our country are struggling to make ends meet in an industry where the money just keeps going to executives and shareholders. It would take more than 800,000 streams per month to make equivalent of $15 an hour. At the vast majority, in the vast majority of our artists are on platforms like Apple Music, Spotify. And one of the things that even for them, they never ever get to 800,000 streams in a year. This is a big deal. Streaming now represents 84% of recorded music industry's revenue in the United States. But most of the artists who bring joy to our lives and culture aren't seeing any of it. The Living Wage for Musicians Act, which I introduced for Representative Bowman, would change that by creating a new fund that aims to pay artists at least one penny per stream. The bill will ref completely reform the music industry, supporting much more diverse set of artists, enabling more recording and touring, and sending a ripple effect throughout local co economies by supporting professionals throughout the music industry. I tr truly encourage my colleagues to learn more about this co-sponsor I mean it doesn't sound like much but to me that's way better than what they're, they're paying right now they're paying like uh, 0.00003 or something for like a stream and we literally are giving away our music like being an artist is really doesn't make any sense anymore so like you know Joe Budden ain't wrong like being an artist you're not making any money anymore it's not like it used to be where like you really would go in the studio and create a good body of work and then you would come and bring your body of work to the fans that want it and then they would buy a physical copy that they would go home and play over and over and over and that would sell to millions and millions of people and you'll make millions and millions of dollars it's just that not the, the the business model anymore you know people get your music on a streaming platform they're paying a monthly fee for the streaming platform and then they get the whole music industry for $10.99 a month so there's really no money to be made unless you're like touring a lot and then you're not seeing people doing any touring so you know people are not making any money like that so it's a crazy thing that's happening and you know Joe Budden not wrong about it but um, Kanye West Kanye West was recently on, somebody interviewed him somewhere, and he said something really, um, really, really, really cool in my opinion. I want y'all to check this clip out of Kanye West, what he said about uh, streaming platforms. Check this out right here. Yes, I like it, remove us, I like simplification. Streaming platforms is bullshit to the artists anyway. Really? Spotify would give us $500 million between all of us and say working them out amongst yourselves. I'm like, what, what about Adele? What about Drake? What about Weekend? What about Taylor Swift? What about me? They like, no, no, no. Doesn't have, matter how much any of y'all stream, y'all gotta work that half a billion. A half a billion? A half a billion? That's what streaming companies think of us as the musicians and all the label owners just hand it over. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. We ain't on that, bro. As long as I breathe, I'm here for all of my artists, all of, all of my peers, and all the people. So you see what's happening. Um... I mean, at this point, I'm kind of happy this bill is being passed, man. I cannot believe that Spotify did that to us as artists, man. I can't believe the streaming platforms took advantage of us. Like, we just wanted to put our music out. We just wanted the world to hear us. And they just took advantage of us, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I think it's a good thing. And uh, I just hope that it really happens because this is crazy. I mean, they have gotten rich like rich they're billionaires off of our music and they, then they're just gonna gonna pay us like 0 0.0.03 you know what i'm saying and they're gonna be like well at least we're giving y'all a platform to put y'all music out i mean at this point i'd rather just play my music live and let people listen to it because you know what i'm saying like even if you put your music up on those platforms you're not making anything you heard what Joe Button said, the music business is dead. So, at this point, we need new solutions for the music business. Or else, 
it's a wrap. You know what I mean? What do you think about all this? Drop your views below. Let me know how you feel about what's going on, man. Peace and one love. Dagger, aka Red Robe, and I'm out.